Adele set fire to the rain, 8.34, Friday morning, 30th of June. And please welcome our guests, Catherine and Toby are here. Morning, welcome along to the show. Good morning, thanks for having us. Well, thank you for coming in. And we're talking about the Warrior Festival that is happening very, very soon. Now, when I first heard about the Warrior Festival, I thought, oh, it's one of those reenactments. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, I kind yeah. of got that feeling yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. you know, you know yeah. what I mean? But it's not at all. I, I went last year at Sandown Airport and yeah. saw uh, the Warrior Festival. For those who don't know, uh, what is it? And also, uh, what's it for? So it's in aid of the White Brainy Bunch uh, charity, and it's put on really for to raise awareness for them. Um, this is, the backstory is that a friend of mine was diagnosed with a with a brain tumor. These guys helped him out, and they were amazing. They really, you know, did a great job. And uh, you know, if it wasn't for them, I think it would have been a, a, a different experience. So I said to the guys in the band, "Look, would it be a good idea to put on a gig?" And it just started off as a gig, you know, play it strings. We, we, you know, we fill it out most times we play anyway. And that was that. And then it kind of snowballed to the first year of Isle of Wife, uh, to, to the first year of um, Warrior Festival. So, yeah. And you've got loads of bands uh, Foo Fighters, yeah. uh, Spike Oatley Band, yeah, that's right. uh, Arctic Junkies. I, do you know what? I love a faux band. Yeah. They, they have the best <laughs> names ever, don't they? It's, uh, do, do you know what I mean? Uh, friend of the show, um, Beth Brookfield's going to be there as yep. well, and uh, Blonde Bombshell, just loads of different acts are going down. Now, you've changed the venue this year, yep. so where are you going to be this year? This year we're going to be at Smallbrook Stadium. We we did the last two years at Sandown Airport, which was fantastic. But we wanted to be able to grow it. Then we had to we had to find a new venue. So yeah, it's our first year at Smallbrook. So we're quite excited that um you know it brings with it sort of challenges, obviously moving and um but no, I think we're there and it, it should be um it should be good. And for somebody who uh, has never been before, in a sentence, how would you describe the Warrior Festival? A family fun festival, but it's also local bands. Every band that's playing both stages, because we've got two stages there, it is just a fun day out to listen to local live music and just, you know, raise awareness for these guys. I was going to say, the Brainy Bunch, for people that don't know, I mean, I think most people probably have heard <laughs> of the Brainy Bunch, but maybe they don't know what the charity actually does. So how would you describe that? Yeah, I think some people still think we're a quiz team, to be honest. But um, <laughs> yeah, so we set up the White Brainy Bunch. We we um, support Isle of Wight families um, that are going through, well, experiencing brain tumours. So we set the charity up in 2016 when Mark, my husband, was diagnosed with a brain tumour. And um, for us, it was just a really sort of overwhelming and challenging time you know we were both fairly you know we we, we considered ourselves strong people I worked at the hospital you know we, we were fairly sensible people but it's just such a tough time so you know for other people that maybe aren't so um, you know aren't so mobile or things like that you know it can be really difficult so um, yeah we we support Isle of Wight families that are going through the same thing and that will be things with um, like travel to Southampton because everyone will go there for treatment um, counselling physiotherapy Whatever they need, we will fund it for them. And for for those who, who don't know, and obviously nobody ever wants to be in that position, what are your thoughts when you first hear about that diagnosis? It... I think everybody will say the same thing. You know, you never think it's going to happen to you. Brain tumours are supposedly rare, um, and and they are, you know, in the in the grand scheme of things. But you just never think it's going to happen to you. So for us, we were we were a young couple. We had well, reasonably young. Um, we had a young family. We both had good jobs. We just moved house, and it just shatters your world, really. You know, you, you think. I mean, for me personally, I was like, well, is, we had an eight-month-old baby. Um, is, is Mark going to see the baby grow up? You know, obviously that baby is now nine years old. And um, so the first six months, though, they're really challenging and scary. And you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what the plan is. So to have um, what we'd like to think is to have us there that can obviously answer some of those questions, that can signpost people to other other services um it just makes that whole process a bit easier and how many people on the island you say it's rare how many people diagnosed yeah i mean it's scary i mean i wouldn't like to put a figure on it at the moment but when we first started out we thought you know if we can help a few people that's great you know it'd be um but people get referred all the time i mean brain tumor diagnosis it doesn't stop all through covid when everything else stopped you know people were still getting um referred to us and obviously that was a really challenging time to get them over to southampton for treatment um but yeah it's we've got hundreds and hundreds of people on our database that we still look out for and that we still help and how's your husband now 
he's doing okay. He's back at work. I mean, he's a firefighter at Ride, so he's a very determined, very stubborn man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I hope he's listening and heard yeah, that. I really hope that. he's listening. Um, yeah, he's really stubborn. He, um, But he wanted to get back to work. He's back to work. He's back driving because um, obviously it brought with it seizures and things like that, his his um, his diagnosis. So he, he's back doing everything, really, that he, he used to do. Um Obviously, it always has side effects, and we've had to adjust to a lot of a lot of differences. You know, his memory's shocking. Um, he's tired all the time, um, so it it doesn't go away. He's not the person that he was, um, but we we adjust, and it's the new us, and um, we go on. He gets scanned every four months, and we go from there. We go from scan to scan, which will be the same story for most people, and. Um, so it's always there. It's always hanging over us. And um, one day it'll probably come back because it's the nature of the beast. And um, we go again. The charity, as you just heard, is fantastic. The event sounds brilliant this year. It is a Warrior Festival happening the 15th of July. 15 days to go, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, a bit scary. <laughs> uh, 11 till 11, 12 hours of live music. Uh, you can find all the details of how to buy a ticket at warriorfestivaliow.uk. Thank you guys for coming in. Thanks for Thank you for having us. Maybe you. pop in again uh, before the event and we can talk a little bit more about the bands. How do you think Amazing. feel about that? Yeah. Thank Brilliant. you so much. Thank you so Thanks much. So much.